thinks you're a pill, don't you, Jock? Huh? I mean, after all, uh, everyone thinks you're a pill, and why don't you just get with the program, Smitty, old boy? Chuck? Huh? Uh-huh. Well. Uh-huh. Huh? Huh? Chuck? Huh? Chuck? Huh? Chuck, 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 you're not going to do cocaine, are you? Well. Chuck! Chuck! I'm sorry, Olivia. He has his effect on people. Oh, that's all right. Chuck's a free agent. When he comes downstairs, Olivia, I'm going to say to Stephen, I'm going to say it's either me or the Coke. Good for you. What are you going to do, Olivia? Nothing. It's just a line of Coke. <laughs> Chuck and I are off to the bars. Hmm? Chuck? Hmm? Chuck wants an adventure in the gay zone. You two continue to party, build yourselves a bonfire, call a refugee, give her some advice. We're off. Talk. I need a peppermint brandy. Would you like one? Oh, maybe just a little one. My God, I'm as bad as he is. Comedy Central for Mystery Science Theater 3000, the show that issued the mandate for the rights of robots. Watch it and fulfill Newt's contract with America. You're at Comedy Central. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. Hey, this here's my science project. Very well, let me out. <laughs> I think I'm having some sort of reaction to Ethel. That's oh. ether, Crow. Oh. <laughs> yes, this here is the crown jewel of my insect collection. Protus Robotus Horribilis. <laughs> Servo. Servo, I need it. Note the these over, strong Servo. and deadly mandibles. Hey, watch this. <laughs> Stay tuned. After a commercial break, we'll tear his wings off and burn him with a magnifying glass. <laughs> I'll get the fire. <laughs> this program is brought to you by Multi Meal Cereals. You know, more people are walking this way, so they're in a better position to find Malto Meal cereals. They're usually down here. You should try it. Malto Meal tastes every bit as good as these. See? 
Bet you can't tell the difference. And they cost about a dollar less. Malto meal. See if you can taste the difference. You really ought to come down here. Its double wishbone suspension elevates your feel of the road. Its multi-valve engine and speed-sensitive steering elevate your sense of control. While its looks, well, they will elevate your mood. Introducing the all-new Dodge Avenger. It's more than just a car. It's an elevator. come to ask permission they do it and then they think about the results and they're freer so, how do I look oh great terrific oh, you're not just saying that are you Cause I feel kind of bloated oh that's just the formaldehyde trust me you're a fine specimen servo <laughs> my god I don't believe this. Well, that's a, a black banded hollow Molina. Do you have any idea how rare those are? Yeah, they're kind of rare. I don't mean to interrupt, but uh, I believe the Mads are calling. Oh, oh yeah, right. Sure, right. whatever. Really, though, I'm impressed. Thank I mean, you, where you. in this kind of an area do you it's find greater. one of these? Well, our bed and breakfast seems to be taking off. As you can see, the bed is completely filled. <laughs> Ted? Barb, rise and shine. Time to get up now. Come on, get up, get up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Stop! Stop! Oh, no. <laughs> well, well, well. Good morning and welcome to oh. Auntie McFrank's Tangleberry Inn. Oh, Auntie McFrank, you gave me quite a start there. Oh, what a nice cheery wake-up call. <laughs> I trust you'll be joining us for breakfast? Oh, may we. Yes, according to the brochure, the Tangleberry breakfasts are to die for. Oh, well put. <laughs> Auntie McFrank, uh, why don't you fetch one of your scrumptious breakfasts for Barb and Ted? Good. <laughs> now, what are we having? Oh, don't ask, honey. I want to be surprised. Right, sweets. <laughs> Now, Clay, uh, you and Auntie McFrank, do you, um, are you... Um, partners. Yes, we're... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, now, um, what exactly do we have? Oh. No, man. No, no. <laughs> I'll heat it up for you if you like. Some like it's warm. No, 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 please. No, don't bother. Yeah, you know what? I tell you, we're actually more interested in maybe taking a look around, getting to know the area. Yeah, soaking in a little of the local color. Yeah, the local color. Yes, we understand you have a llama. Ah, uh, the llama. Yeah, we'd love to pet the llama. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Mike, did you guys put on the stuff I sent up to you? It's under the local color. <laughs> Suppose you folks want to touch the llama, huh? That's right, huh? You want to touch this old llama? Or you just go right ahead. You can touch the old llama all you want. You can touch the old llama all night till hell freezes over. <laughs> Not me, though. Uh-uh. No siree, Bob. I wouldn't touch that old thing. Llama hasn't been feeling so good. Whoa. Smells funny, too. Whoa. Smells really kind of rank, you know? 
but you can touch it if you want. <laughs> Ain't no law says you can't. Ain't that right, Mikey? Ain't there no laws that says folks can't touch this smelly old llama if they want, huh, Mikey, huh? Huh? You people bring matches for Mikey? You shut up, Mikey, you shut up! You folks don't give no matches to Mikey, you hear me? You hear me? I don't care what Mikey say or Mikey do. Don't give him no matches. I don't care if Mikey can crawl into your window. Start making a big old mess. Don't you give no matches to Mikey? 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 Shut up, Mikey! Ted, Barb! Why don't you go outside the guest book? Please, I want you to write something cute and nice and enchanting, please. I don't tell you You'll pay for this, Nelson. I was going to let you watch Holiday Inn, but not anymore. No, no. Instead, you'll visit with a very inhospitable, amazing, transparent man. Put that in your llama and smell it. Don't you give me this. It doesn't mean love it. <laughs> you can stop that now, Mike. <laughs> we got movies <laughs> on! <laughs> Union Pacific makes the best movies. Shh, you guys, this is my story. My story is on. best cast that Union Pacific has to offer. If there's a reverend in it, you know it's got to be good. Amen. <laughs> Quite a coup getting Francois Poulain to do the music. Wow. Herman Boxer and Joseph Anson would be Babalu Mandel and Lowell Gans of their time. Woo! Wider shade of pale! Go in peace to love and serve Union Pacific. So we have 70 days in each year? Mm. We're going to have to go a long way to get back to train safety. Our car is kind of a downer to him. <laughs> it's up with Brakeman. Mm. Castrati's greatest hits. But let's visit Sister Bertrand. It is written in the Old Testament to each of us this allotment of years. Three score and ten. I sure tore through mine. And in these years... There is the time of man. Yeah, shame he died, huh? I have to fulfill him. his destiny. To work together with his fellow man in the wonderfully complex pattern of everyday life. Yeah, they really capture the complexity. Mm -hmm. A time to be born. Oh, yeah. And a time to grow. To become aware of the loveliness of all things living. Sure, this beats having friends. In the call of youth to youth. To learn the happiest lesson of all. Dishes. That the fullness of life can only be tasted when our happiness is shared with others. <laughs> all right, go, Dad. Later, a time of maturity to reflect. It all sucks. To relax. To I enjoy. I regret everything. Yes, this is the heritage to which we are born. The blessings to which we may all look forward. Really going through the funerals. Yet, here in my parish, there are some who can only look back. I hate them. They are the victims. Unable to reap the full enjoyment of the days of their year. Chief Justice Earl Warren. They are the victims of themselves. I hate them. My church is in a railroad town, not far from a big freight terminal and repair shop. All mine. In my congregation are railroad people in every capacity. Well, he thinks loud. And not one who isn't safety conscious. Not one who isn't drunk. Accident haters all of us. Mm -hmm. Hating the waste, the pain. The needless, the filth that is humanity. Yet try as we may, do what we will, there comes a time. I'm bigger than Jesus. Oh no, the Reverend is killed again. Ironically, the ambulance driver hit four people on the way there. <laughs> A fellow worker hurt. Get out of town, accident lover. You never get hardened to a sight like this. I had an accident, too. But it isn't only what happens to the man in the ambulance. Oh? There's another story behind most accidents. Communism. The story of what happens to the other. 
the doctor's wife had died, he paused to smell You might her say own. I've got sort of an inside track when it comes to knowing the inside story behind an accident. And it strikes me that the ones who are hurt most by the carelessness that causes accidents are the ones who weren't even there. I didn't hate accidents enough. I often stop by here for a cup of coffee. That's really interesting. Whenever I do, I'm reminded of the things that happened to the people who weren't even there. Oh, sure. I... Huh? <laughs> I reread the story in the sad eyes of the girl who serves me. And it really pisses me off. Yes, I'm ready. This is Helen. Hi, Helen. Although she has never been in an accident. She acts like she has. Helen is nevertheless an accident victim. Where can I get my pancakes? Her eyes were not always sorrowful. Once they were bright and shiny. Her coat, glossy. Yes, I remember how those eyes used to glow whenever Helen thought about Joe. Joe Tendler was... It's his... about Sander! Ah! In those days, Joe was about as average a young fellow as you'd be likely to meet. He sounds great. Young, easygoing, good company. Prone to violence. He hadn't a complaint in the world. Well, maybe one complaint. He was getting a little tired of being a bachelor, eating on the run cleaning up your own place if you got around to it. But all that was due for a change pretty soon. He'd chosen his new look. Yes, Joe is a pretty lucky guy. A good job as road electrical foreman, a wonderful girl who wanted nothing in the world more than to be Mrs. Joe. So his name is Joe Joe? I guess. On his way to the job that morning, Joe had to stop by to see Helen. There was something he'd forgotten to give her last night. A taste of the spoiler. Oh, coffee in front of all these people, behave. Good. But of course, Joe was behaving. The way any lucky, happy young fellow about to be married would behave. It was only natural. <laughs> Joe had to take off in a hurry to reach that job on time. He had a lot more women to kiss on his route that and morning. And Helen, well, she was on the job. And her face had that glad look I'll always remember. My man is average. It made people feel good just watching her feeling good as she went through the motion. I'm watching you feel good. And though she was quick and sure and competent in everything she did, mm -hmm. she spit in the air. She eggs. was really a million miles away from that little mm -hmm. restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mr. and Mrs. Joe Toast. A million mm -hmm. miles away. Yeah. In a dream world all mm -hmm. her own. Come over to this side. Mm -hmm. Obey the toaster. That dream world had everything. A church complete with ministers saying the proper words. You are getting sleepy. I was flattered to be a part of Helen's dream. <laughs> there was a ring in it. And, of course, a beautiful dress and veil. For Joe. And a handsome groom. And me, of course. <laughs> and when the ceremony was over, there was the first of many, many kisses. In my version, things went a lot further. Yes, this was Helen's very own dream. And she was going to make it worth dreaming. Well, I gotta get back to my shift, honey. She wasn't skimping on anything. She dreamed of tract housing. There was that perfectly scrumptious model house she'd been wanting for all these years. Squalor contemporary. Here it was, exactly as she'd imagined. And here they were. And what was the sense in waiting? Plan 5 from outer space. You know, the fastest sale on record. And while she was dreaming, she'd furnished that house that very afternoon. So Joe could read his evening paper on that pretty couch that very night. Where's my damn dinner? So she could take that paper away and cuddle close. Ooh. She dreamed of everything any dreamy young girl had ever dreamed before. <gasps> They're in hell! Of crackling fire. Of dimmed light. Of love. They should have had a train scene and here. in her dreams, Helen missed Joe when he was gone. That was so incredibly average. He was a clever dreamer. So she arranged for little Joe to be there to keep her from getting lonesome when Daddy was away. Speaking of accidents. The beginning of a new life. But the end of a dream. Mm. Yeah, okay, a diaper, the toast, and butter the baby. I had... But on the job late in the afternoon of that day, the real-life Joe was in a real live hurry. He hadn't seen his Helen since early that morning. Which it's all I'm in. Come on, you guys. Get a move on. Let's get out of here. He might have been heard to say. To the impatient Joe, the men seemed almost purposely stalling as they stowed their gear. Joe smelled conspiracy in everything. And now the wheels of fate were set in motion. Call them the wheels of fate or the wheels of chance. 
or call them Ernie. But consider the man at the wheel was in the driver's seat. In any case, it involved a wheel. It was Joe who was calling the turn of the wheel. Oh, Joe is the king of the world. You went through a stop sign. Better take it easy, Joe. Get out of my head, Reverend. Joe's thirst for danger seems quite reasonable. The others, they were along for the ride. Whether they liked it or not. Liked it? They hated it. Flag on the moon. But what could they do? They were trapped. Yes, Joe had a baby. And he just couldn't get there fast enough. With those two scoops of raisins. Oh, not again, Joe. That's your standard crash holding. Now it was payoff time. One, still able to move. Two, still able to move. They had escaped the trap. It was an average accident. Their three score and ten were still before them. Give or take a score. But the trap had sprung on Joe. Serve you right. Yes. Now it was payoff time. Such are the wages of sex. Easy-going Joe Tendler. He was trapped in his own juicer. Joe became an avant-garde composer. After a year in that neck brace, Joe wasn't quite such good company as he used to be. But the word said, for better or for worse, in sickness or in health. You take this bionic man. Sure, Joe tried to call it off. But a girl like Helen doesn't run out. There was quite a difference between Helen's dream and the reality. There'd be quite a difference between living with the dream Joe and the real one. Their honeymoon at Six Flags is going to be real fun. Hey, Joe. <coughs> ah! It needn't have happened at all. You could have married me. Look at this button I found in the collection plate. Want to make a consumer's digest best buy and even better buy? Well, right now, we're offering $1,000 cash back on every Dodge Caravan. Not just some, every one. Add in up to $1,100 in package value discounts, and you can take up to $2,100 off America's best-selling minivan. Or choose 4.9 financing instead. So hurry to the Dodge National Best Buy Sale. Right now, current Chrysler Corporation minivan owners get an additional $500 cash back. Question, when your best friend is an 800-pound gorilla, who's falling around? Where do you go to set her free? Answer, anywhere she wants. Me. I'm not even going to ask. Born to be Wild, rated PG, starts Friday, March 31st at a theater near you. Fifty-seven. <laughs> Elaine, how does next Friday sound? <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> Exit 57, America's <laughs> sketch comedy rest stop. Coming soon, MTV Spring Break 95. Take it in. Take it all in. It's the day of days and the night of nights and the Dorothy Tom, 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 with the Tom, 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 and the Al Pacino's of Al Pacino's and the big owl. The MST 3K Little Gold Statue Preview Special premieres Wednesday night at 8. MTV. It's the most exciting. Get busy. MTV. Most exciting. Spring break. MTV. Give it up. Spring break. There are many days in the years left for Joe. Too many. For George Price, there are fewer. Hey, you dead yet? And the days George does have left are embittered days. <laughs> Flavorless. Futile. Get off my land, you pious son of a... To George, the sound of that approaching car. 
as it nears the house across the street. Prods back into his memory. A scene he has fought to erase. But then so does every other sound. A scene he cannot forget. Well, he's having a great day. This is Lenny Bellow, the boy across the street. The boy who once was like a son to George. Just across the street. Where every day George can't possibly help seeing him. Better go buy some salt pellets. Every day. George remembers. When he was good friends with Dean Rusk. George remembers how it was in the happy days with the Price and Bellows family. Eating sandwiches. Fred Bellows, Lenny's father, and George. Good neighbors, good friends. And Michelob. They'd spend hours figuring the fun they'd have on their retirement pay. We. The trips they'd take together. The wonderful places they'd see. It would be soon now. Let's go on a Hawaiian sex their tour. Their wives had waited patiently through all the long years of railroad service. Tony Dow. would go to college. It was all planned. There wasn't a cloud in the bright blue sky of their future. Then I showed up. <laughs> Forty-two years of good, honest work. George was proud of those years. <laughs> George. Proud of the strength and stamina that had kept him going. But today, somehow, he didn't feel so good. And when it was time to go back to work, George wondered whether he was going to be able to make it. George, you're hilarious. Honey, these last few weeks, he hadn't been quite up to snuff. Diarrhea is like a Nobody storm. Nobody noticed. He hadn't mentioned it. Probably just indigestion. Hey, have a massive coronary on your own time. He'd be all right. If he could only hold out until retirement time. It's at five o'clock today. But now he had a job to do. And nobody was going to say George Price gave up on the job. George Price gave up on a job. There, I said it. And so, as Fred Bellows climbed up to go back to his job, George went back to his. Robust and cheerful as ever. A small voice whispered, Report sick. Get a relief, man. Don't be a fool, George. Kill your parents. But George had a job to do, and he was going to stick to it. Boo Radley waved him on. So there was George. And Fred. And Bill said, Come on. Easy. They call him the derailleur. Well, what's with Georgie Borgie? <laughs> Shouldn't have thought of Mamie Eisenhower. Oh, George, if this is one of your pranks. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, this is terrible. He died minutes before his time. Good one, George. George tried to go to Fred Bellow's funeral. But Baywatch was but on. the doctor said no. You don't walk around two days after a heart attack. Uh, why couldn't he have killed the guy two doors but down? But they couldn't keep him away from the window. He watched Grace and Lenny. And Squiggy. Lenny, who wouldn't be going to college this fall. Because he's dumb. Or any fall. Can you bring me back a program? Grace, who faced a future of grief and loneliness. Boring. There, my problem went away. All right, let's get this guy planted. They'll circle George's house a few times, then go on to the cemetery. That was over three years ago. George hasn't moved. George still can't get around very well. Lenny Bellows still lives across the street. And though he's long since forgiven to him, yet his simplest actions have become, to George, signs of rejection. You know, staring off into space hasn't been as exciting as I thought it would be. And there, George Price is doomed to stay. Across a little street, a thousand miles wide. Now, let's get to the dismemberment. <laughs> as I said before, most of my congregation are railroad people. I know the road does everything in its power to prevent accidents, to see that equipment and working procedures in the shops are as safe as it's possible to make them. Mm -hmm by constant reminders to keep the men aware of the life and death importance of observing safety rules. See our elaborate safety system? <laughs> Yet, still they come. This is Needle the Park. The ones who forget, even for the barest fraction of a second, that with safety, there are no second chances. Oh, well, who needs fingers? Not all trips to the hospital, though, are necessarily disastrous. Just mine. For example, there was the trip Charlie O'Neill made with his wife. That was about the happiest trip Charlie ever took. <laughs> he and Sue had been looking forward to it for years, waiting, 
hoping for a pap smear. Finally, it happened. There'd be a new little O'Neill along any minute now. Charlie was so happy he forgot everything else. <laughs> well, almost everything. He almost forgot his ventriloquial figure. <laughs> He didn't quite believe them a little later when they told him it might take a while and he might as well go back to work. This has nothing they to do with you. you. Go on. On the way to the shop, he remembered something. He had to go kiss Helen. It was just about the last thing he did remember that day. Cigar. He was going to Ernie Kovacs' house. They weren't going to catch Charlie off base when the big news came. Charlie was close now. You could smell him. He hoped it wouldn't be too long before he could break them out. So he disrobed. There was a phone call coming, he told the foreman. A big one. Please get it to him fast when it came. Yeah, get back to work. Charlie did remember one more thing that day. To take proper care getting Bill's attention. Gentle pressure on the shoulder so as not to start. And a soft kiss on the neck. That kissing open flame is deadlier than any snake. Charlie knew it. Every man who works a torch knows it. When you come near him, you come up smooth. You don't make any sudden motion. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Picasso's woman looks like a baboon. This was it. Phone call for Charlie. Charlie, does fur run in your family? Someone brought donuts. <laughs> Yes, yes, a boy, nine pounds, wow. I've got great sperm. You can forgive Charlie for being excited. Who wouldn't be? A newborn father is one of the most excitable people in the whole world. Other than the father at the time of conception. <sighs> you can forgive Charlie for passing out cigars during work hours. Sure. Even though he knew he should have waited till lunch. Yeah, he should have waited till lunch. Hey, it's all though. You can even forgive Charlie for what happened next. For that one instant of final, fatal forgetting. Alan Arkin! Why am I welding? Why would I be welding with this? I don't know, I understand. Oh! Hey, you don't have to hold it there. Oh, a film. Wow. Well, now he's yes, T-Bone Burnett. You can forgive Charlie for everything. And you can understand how it happened. Yet I want him punished. But one thing you cannot do. Put your elbow in your ear. You cannot change it. It is done. And there is nothing you can say to Charlie. Except gentle pressure. He has said it all to himself many times. You're a nice puppy. Here we go. Put he this. has said that he was careless. That it could have been avoided. That he knew better. Here's your bottle. That he only forgot for a second. One tiny second. And in every case, Charlie is right. Still, the thing is done. I'm over the fence, man. I'm out of here. Charlie has never seen his baby son. Or the five Mrs. Buchanan. Charlie never will. So the leading causes of accidents are joy, sex, and old age. It is written in the Old Testament to each of us this allotment of years. Mm -hmm. Three score and ten. And there's a psalm about when welding. When you add that up literally, it says that the days of our years number 25,567. Mm -hmm. A trivial accident might take away one or two of those days. A serious one might take away a hundred or a thousand. A disastrous one would be cool to watch. Suddenly, there might be no days left at all. America's favorite deacon of death. Hey, we're, we're trying to film here. The Lord has allotted them. Mm -hmm. Let not man by his thoughtlessness diminish the blessings of the Lord. Ironically, the reverend was named and crippled giving communion. Reverend, I'm having a crisis of faith. What should I do? Get safety goggles, my son. Remember to worship at the railroad of your choice. You know, that, that short had an interesting juxtaposition. On the one hand... Had lots of valuable safety information. Sure. And on the other hand, it made me want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you've taken well, that information to heart, haven't you? Oh, oh that, that, that's right, Mike. Uh, 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 what was that thing I was supposed to remember? Uh, uh, gentile pressure, gentle bend, gentle oh, on my... Oh, no, no. Gentle pressure. Oh. Gentle pressure. 
gentle pressure. I can't stress that enough. Gentle, gentle pressure. I got it. Gentle pressure. That's right. <laughs> gentle pressure. Now, as it happens, uh, Tom Servo is doing some welding on the other side of the ship. As it happens. Yeah. Completely coincidentally. So go over and get his attention yeah. using gentle, gentle pressure. Gentle pressure. Don't worry, Mike. <laughs> I won't forget. <laughs> gentle pressure. <laughs> gentle pressure. Hey, Servo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gentle what, Mike? <laughs> Crouchy robot. He's always getting into one scrape after another. <laughs> It's the day of days and the night of nights Tom, and the birthday Tom, people going to come. With the Alpha Tom, 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 and the Alpha of Tom, and the big owl. The MST 3K Little Gold Statue Preview Special premieres Wednesday night at 8. Can what makes a car look good also make it safer? You'll find the answer in the new Dodge Stratus. Because along with dual airbags, anti-lock brakes, and ultra-high strength steel door beams, even the car's shape helps us add side impact protection. It's nice to know that all that is in here, because all this is out there. New Dodge Stratus. It's full of answers. The irresistible taste of fresh, ripe jalapenos. Now available in liquid form. Introducing a mild breakthrough in pepper sauce, only from the makers of Tabasco. What do you want? Something home-baked that's big and fluffy and moist. With lots of real chocolate. Or luscious swirls of raspberry. Surprise me! No one gives you the snack you want. Like Duncan Hines Big New Raspberry Muffins or Big Chocolate Chip Muffins. Muffins? The biggest lineup of muffins you can get from a mix. As easy to bake as they are to take. Mm -hmm. Duncan Hines Hot Stuff. How fast can you begin to feel relief from a cold? Depends. How fast can you open the halls with vapor action? Halls vapor action means instant action. Only from the halls of medicine. Fun! Oh, my son, the graduate. So, Nikki, any plans now that high school's over? You know, it's gonna work for me. <laughs> Not if you're smart. You know what I think you should do? Stay close to home. You got plenty of time to work. Take the first thing that comes along there. Give Anthony a call. So, what are you gonna do? Well, we study nuclear propulsion or satellite navigation. In the Navy. Oh, great. Way to go, Nikki. For more information on the high-tech skills that can help launch a career, call 1-800-USA-NAVY. Hi, I'm Nancy Green from Connecticut, right? Is it true that Duckman is not at all like his obnoxious TV persona? We decided to take a camera crew out to Beverly Hills. Who the hell are you and who lets you in the gate? You've got five seconds to get the hell out of here before I let the dogs loose. <laughs> oh, did I say five? I meant three. <laughs> that do it for you, Nancy? An all-new Duckman, Saturday nights on USA. I'm sorry, Cole. That happens. The Untouchables! MCP, most crappiest productions. <laughs> I hope there's more accidents in this movie. Ladies and gentlemen, Nitsy Gator! Another accident! Oh, no. Newt Gingrich's America. <laughs> There's one stressful Hollywood career. The family bone trap. Yes? Yes, yes. Losing Dudantin. Am I that amazingly transparent? <laughs> <laughs> the names have been changed to protect the visible. Now, how can a woman be Kevin Kelly? Oh, no, cops. <laughs> there are signs of water damage on the credits. Here we come with our movie, with the screenplay by Jack Lawrence. Music caulks the scenes together. 
<laughs> yes. Conks, yes. I'm glad it's not the annoying transparent man. <laughs> Credit background by Formica, the laminate of the future. Hey, it's got photographic effects. What they mean by photographic effects is that they filmed it. Ah. Oh, nobody did Hamlet like Lester Guthrie. This is a modern dress, amazing transparent. And now, William Wegman's Mein Kampf. <laughs> I'm really a cat person. <laughs> hey, who's walking who? <laughs> I am a fugitive from a golf station. So the cops have a dog walking service. <laughs> Must escape from Barbara Woodhouse. Peekaboo. Yeah, it's one of them horseless carriages. It was nice of his mom to pick him up after prison escape practice. <laughs> Is this one of the photographic effects? Dogs are gonna flag down a Buick and give chase. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, 10 minutes out of prison and he scores. <laughs> Haley Mills in the amazing transparent trap. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm not really adjusting to society. Would you take me back to prison? All I'm putting on my top hat, dusting off my white tie, breaking out of jail. Trip's getting better and better. Mm -hmm. I'm lonely. Please love me. Ah, now you can barely see him. Come on. Shadowlands 2, Escape from Oxford. <laughs> What is it, officer? Is your knob turned to Bob? I escaped from state prison, ma'am. This is just routine. Who are you and where have you been? Oh, my name's Matson. Laura Matson. Uh, this is my husband, John. We've been to a party at Pritchard Point. I'm afraid he overdid it. He's a Kennedy. Um, may I check your driver's license, please? Yes, of course. He's a droogie. You don't weigh 110. What about your husband's? Well, that's why I'm playing chauffeur. His, his license was suspended. Uh, drunk driving. That happened to me, too. Well, there's no need to bother him. He's had enough trouble for one night without waking up and staring into the badge of an officer. Very sorry to inconvenience you. Well, that's quite all right. Just proceed to the next ineffectual policeman. I think the roadblocks are too close. It's amazing and amusing. He's delicious and nutritious. Two for breakfast, one for you. You played it smartly than I thought you would. If you'd pulled that gun, it would have been all over. Still don't get it. Why'd you break me up? You are Earl, aren't you? You'll find out when we get where we're going. She's taking him to his surprise welcome home party. But then the North Dakota film industry never really took off. Dorothy returns home. They're on their way to my grandma's. Huh? I don't need to see this. The sad thing is, is that this is their downtown area. Oh, it's Mary Tyler Moore's country apartment. Norman? Uh, uh, my door? Are you going to get my... Because really, I mean, hmm. you should be getting my... Well. Escape convicts are so rude. Goes without saying, get off my land. Come around here to scare off visitors? He serves his purpose. Yeah, I guess everybody does. Julian, put the car away, will you? Is Paul waiting? Been in there chewing up the carpet for two hours. Any trouble? No. Joey Faust, this is Julian. Cut your hair, hippie. I've seen him before in a police bulletin. And on the cover of the Rolling Stone. Zing! Well, they have valet parking. 
So, Julian, the scene's over. It, uh, you want to just cut any time? <laughs> it's over. <laughs> go on, go on. Well, go, go away. Well, ooh, they've got Protestant revival furniture. Hello, so sorry for your loss. Well, I was beginning to worry. Major Krenner, may I present Joey Faust? Did we overdress for North Dakota? Major, does that surprise you, Mr. Faust? It's for real? What army? Well, there have been several. Take your choice. Please, Mr. Faust. It's lovely. What is it? It's only a bit of shrapnel. It's a keepsake. That piece of shrapnel ended the Major's military career. That would be all on. And his sex life. Um, you did well, my dear. Now run along and freshen up while Mr. Faust and I discuss business. You'll excuse me? Major. Apparently, I'm not fresh. Go ahead. Uh, take off the coat if you wish. I know you'd like an explanation. I'm effeminate because my mother was overbearing. Why did you set up the break? Oh, I can use you. You have thought your reputation in the underworld is somewhat of a genius when it comes to opening safes and vaults. Who do you do, huh? They must have dug that shrapnel out of your head. What kind of an idiot are you, Krenner? I can't poke my nose through a bank door without getting it blown off. Hmm. Every newspaper in the country's got my picture. You're bitter, Faust. Mean and bitter. <laughs> you trust no one and you hate everyone. You're the kind of man I need and understand. So I know all about your background. Your marriage to uh, Lana Turner. Your... What do you know about me? You couldn't have gotten out of any newspaper. Well, I check closely on all the people I use. I know about the wife who turned you in <laughs> and the child who's never been allowed to see. Ouch. That was mean, Tad. I'm really vulnerable right now. Oh. I may owe you something. Something? But if you ever mention my daughter's name again, you'll have another hole in your head. I promise you. Susie. Susie, 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 Susie. If you wish. Mr. Fast? Susie, 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 Susie. Yes, your background explains your behavior. Susie, Susie. A touch of class, a model of elegance, the standard of refinement. Enjoy five hours of Saturday Night Live featuring the one-of-a-kind talents of Chris Farley. Watch Five Tons of Farley tomorrow starting at 2 here at Comedy Central. The all-new Subaru Impreza. We didn't just load it with safety features like dual airbags and anti-lock brakes. We loaded it with fun. A spirited new 135 horsepower engine harnessed to the ultimate safety feature. Subaru all-wheel drive. Transferring power automatically from the wheels that slip to the wheels that grip. To help your Subaru stick to the road and you stick to having a good time. Subaru. He taught her to speak. <laughs> She taught him to listen. I promise I will not yell at you. But there are some things in this world. She thinks. She feels things. You just can't teach a gorilla. Katie, get off now! I'm not even going to ask. This is going to be a long trip. Born to be wild. It's a couple of guys looking for adventure. Rated PG. Starts Friday, March 31st at a theater near you. This is Jurgen's body shampoo, and this is the sponge. Just a little squeeze, and you've got enough lather for the entire shower. Just quick and easy. Just a little squeeze really cleans your body. It rinses off so easily. My skin feels so smooth. It tingles. It feels great. Just a little squeeze, and a little squeeze here. It feels fantastic. Just, just a squeeze! I am through with bar soap forever. Hey, just squeeze it, baby. Jurgen's body shampoo. You've got to try this. How much do you pay for a minute of long distance? Maybe, uh, 75 cents. 50 cents? I have no idea. I'm sure it's a lot. Well, now Sprint introduces a whole new way to save on long distance. Call now and sign up for Sprint's simple new long distance calling plan, Sprint Sense. How simple is it? It's just 10 cents a minute, every evening, every night, and all weekend long. A dime a minute all night? <laughs> That's easy. 10 cents a minute? It's that simple. No calling circles, no confusing percentages. You'll always know what rate you're paying. And if you call Sprint now, you'll get a special bonus, up to 100 minutes free. Guess I better call. 
So should you, because at 10 cents a minute, the savings can really add up. One minute, two minutes, three. 10 cents. Hey, with Sprint, I could have talked 10 minutes for the price of this cup of coffee. Who says a dime doesn't buy you anything anymore? Get Sprint Sense for the simplest way to save on long distance and up to 100 minutes free. Call Sprint now, 1 800 621 7497. Now, we're conducting experiments requiring fissionable materials. Mm. Oh, you'll be well paid. That's atom bomb stuff. Mm. The government has that locked up tighter than Fort Knox. Precisely. <laughs> Include me a long way out, chum. <laughs> You're hardly in a position to bargain, Mr. Faust. Bargain? Faust? Get it? Huh? Uh -huh. huh? Mm -hmm. A man with a gun doesn't have to bargain. Get stuff wholesale. True. I'm certain Julian would disagree with you on that. Yeah, well, Julian can lick... Oh, you know hi, Julian. It'll do, son. It'll rip out your spine and roll it up like a ball of string. Ooh. What's the score, Krenner? Uh, Vikings pulled it out. You'll work for us faithfully or you'll be turned over to the authorities. I understand there's a reward of $5,000 on your head. <laughs> and just what are these authorities going to say about your part in the break? Police <laughs> need know nothing of my part in the escape. <laughs> you see, they'll also pay 5000 for a dead fox. <laughs> I must admit that it... It's funny. It's not funny. Ha ha, but it's droll. <laughs> what do you want? That'll be all for now, Julian. Go freshen up, Julian. <laughs> Come along to the laboratory. And here, Alexander's rag. Got a lab here? Oh, yes. We're completely equipped for our experiments. We got a grant from viewers like you. I made an extensive search before selecting this ranch as an operational base. That's really interesting. Rhoda, we're coming up. I'm here. Night of the living Jerry Stiller. As you can see, this is quite a serious business. Dr. Ulof. I'm not looking at my boogers. Come here. Yes, Major Krenner. Uh, Dr. Peter Ulof, Mr. Faust. Mr. Faust has joined us. He'll be supplying you with the vital materials. Dr. Ulof is an eminent nuclear scientist. Would you prepare one of your subjects for the rate treatment, Doctor? We must impress Mr. Faust with the end result of your highly acclaimed scientific labors. You want me to make him a sandwich, in other words. <laughs> Ulof. Mm. I've heard the name. Oh, undoubtedly you have. I was quite fortunate in uh, convincing him to continue his work here for me. <laughs> I'm coy. <laughs> now, this wall is of lead, two inches thick. It contains our radioactive materials. Get in. Doctor. I told you to move this. The ray could penetrate this lead like butter, and the whole countryside would go up in a mushroom cloud. There is so much you want. So we have to change it. Are you ready for the demonstration? I am ready. Frank. Uh, would you tie my tie? I agreed to do your dirty work for you, but I got to know what's going on. Dr. Google will be glad to explain. Doctor, this is the principle of x ray that goes further. Hmm? X-ray pierces only the outer shell of the body to show what lies beneath. Oh, it doesn't. This ray neutralizes all tissue and bone structure in the body. Turning you into a pudding pot. This machine utilizes X-ray, alpha, beta, and omega rays and ultraviolet. Come on, Combining sell them it. with the best effect and filtering out qualities which would hinder our oh, operations. Alpha, beta, my... Yeah. It'll seem more simple to you after you've seen what goes on. Donald Nixon, ladies and gentlemen. Donald Nixon. Don't touch me, you brute. Why are you so worried about this box? It doesn't practice safe sex. Well, even if the left shield <laughs> doesn't cut off all rays, it simply strains them considerable system. still gets through. Any accidental concentration of rays from this apparatus could set up a chain reaction in the materials in the vault. A nuclear fission could result. Doctor. Honey, I shrunk the audience's interest. Come. I'd like to show you my bidet. Burgess Meredith is in there reading. Look at that. Olaf's picking his nose again. <laughs> Who wants American cheese on theirs? I'm not a telephone junkie. There's no action. You can use that guinea pig as a guinea pig. Then some people will turn you away. It's not going to work. You're taking away the best months of my life. Don't be afraid. 
You know, why would I be afraid? This is all perfectly normal. Oh, I'm still sore from the last time. He straps on a rubber glove. I'm leaving. I'm just going to check your back molars. Have a look at Coco's medical record. That's a whooping cough in third grade. Mother ate by cat. Father flushed down toilet. Everything <laughs> normal. <laughs> ah, he's turning on the all vacuum cleaner network. He's inventing a new kind of toilet float. Oh, mm. Kind of an abstract sculpture of Jane Mansfield. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but it looks naughty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For those of you who missed it, I'll go through it all again. Need anything, Poopy? Why don't you disrobe and change into a gown? Ah, close enough there. Got to turn a few of these knobs. You know, hiring nuclear tents wasn't a good idea. All this just to get a UHF station? We do say little poo poo. I love you. <laughs> Home execution, Texas style. Now they're going to record a yes album. Keep your eye on the guinea pig. Keep your eye on the guinea pig. <laughs> well, well, well. I ain't talking coppers. So they've come up with new ways to off guinea pigs. Oh, show that Oppenheimer. Rocky dies, yellow killer cow at that end. I do believe in Mighty Mouse. Help me. Oh, he's with the William Morris Agency. <laughs> well, that was both amazing and transparent. I'm pretty sure it's not that radioactive. The gangster nuclear program is off to a great start. We're going to call him Harvey. Go ahead, Mr. Faust. Prove to yourself it isn't done with merit. You schnitzel poopy. You see? <laughs> oh, guess. Do have any doubts, Mr. Faust? Let's see what picture picture's doing. <laughs> no doubt. You can return the animal to visibility, Doctor. Hey, uh... His girdle is slipping. Ooh. What happened to the guinea pig? The pool off has perfected the ray. The point, there's no danger to the subject. No ill effects at all. It's safe. Now, quick, get in the vault, quick! Uh, bless me, Father, for I have sinned. No. Ah, the switching sequence. You loved it before, you'll love it again. Oh, oh, yeah, that one. Now watch from the peephole. You'll find the guinea pig is unharmed. We'll be accelerating the guinea pig to near the speed of light and collide it with a copper foil. Hey. Let's tell him he's still invisible. <laughs> think of it. People might think there's not a guinea pig in a room when there actually is. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> program is brought to you by McDonald's. Class, this is called abstract art, which means everyone sees something different. John, what do you see? I see McDonald's new taste of the month, the bacon cheddar LT, coaxing me to the golden arches. It's my favorite quarter pound of beef with cheddar cheese sauce, onions, crisp lettuce, ripe tomato, and savory taste of bacon. But it's only for a limited time, so I should hurry. Anyone see anything different? No. Nope. Nope. That's what it is, all right. Let's eat. Now, this garage better be clean. Right, Dad. And I mean clean. While you're 
you at it. Wash the car. Sure. The juice is loose. The Starburst fruit juice with real fruit juice. Everybody needs some money sometime. Everybody needs some cash somehow. Hello? Rita. It's midnight. I need $500. Now. I'll call Western Union. Just call 1-800-CALL-CASH. And you can send money from home. Sometime is now. Western Union. Oh, yeah. The fastest way to send money worldwide. The all-new Subaru Impreza. We didn't just load it with safety features like dual airbags and anti-lock brakes. We loaded it with fun. A spirited new 135 horsepower engine harnessed to the ultimate safety feature. Subaru all-wheel drive. Transferring power automatically from the wheels that slip to the wheels that grip. To help your Subaru stick to the road and you stick to having a good time. Who cares? Come on. Etienne, fix everything. Who's Etienne? He's a camel repairman. What? He's a mechanic. You can't. Oof. Etienne. Hope he takes Visa. Oh, he does. <laughs> Lisa Gold can get you cash more places worldwide than any other card, even American Express. Etienne, fix everything. Visa Gold. You're watching Comedy Central. Hey! Something big is going down, man. Frank is calling. It must be really important. Mike, I wanted to let you know I won't be in today. After five years, Dr. Forrester is finally giving me a day off. <laughs> so needless to say, don't even bother trying to get in touch with me today. Frank, I've never tried to contact you, but congratulations on your day off. Yeah, after five years, you must have some big plans, huh? Well, if I seem just a little bit cocky, it's for a very good reason. I've got a ticket to see Squanto, a warrior's tale. Uh-huh, you heard right, Squanto. <laughs> I've been planning to see this movie for months, and I wanted to make sure I got in. So I bought this ticket from a scalper for $1,000. I know that sounds a little steep, but hey, this is Squanto I'm talking about. <laughs> Well, Clay, I'm off to see Squanto. Frank, Squanto opened and closed three weeks ago. Squanto! Uh, cheer up, Frank. Uh, maybe uh, Camp Nowhere is still playing. Yeah, or The Road to Wellville. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got movies on! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Poor little guy. Yeah, uh, sad, huh? That satisfy your curiosity, Mr. Pa? As you could no doubt deduce, such a mechanism as this has unlimited possibilities. Ah, yeah, like what? Well, that will come later. First things first, please. Hey, they could rid the world See? of Polly Shore. No <laughs> harm done at all. Perfectly healthy. Ziao! I imagine you've seen enough for one day, hmm? And you certainly must be tired after your trip. Yeah, I could use a little sleep. Not sure Julia's found some clothes that'll fit you. We have some later hosen. What, uh, in here? It's no concern of yours. Come on, Mr. Faust. Bet there are all sorts of invisible nude chicks in there, huh? Well, you'll be sleeping with the guinea pigs. I hope you don't mind. Don't you ever improvise again. You almost ruined the second act. Oh, I'm sorry I yelled. I shouldn't be gone long. Yep. Leave the gate open and I'll lock when I get back. Yep. I don't think you need to be cautious about Faust. Yep. He's dangerous and locks mean nothing to him. So I want you where you can watch his door at all times. Yep. Keep him in his room. You understand? Uh -huh. He won't go nowhere. All right. Oh, and he power bigs has been spotted, so guard the organ. I'm going to hunt you down, Fern. 
Hey, give me a crack of that bowl, huh? St. Joseph Aspirin for Gangsters. Take the ribbon from your hair. <laughs> oh, I just rolled on a gin pick. Oh. Yeah, good, he's asleep. I can put out the presents. Oh, I have a rich life. Well, now it's just me and the latest issue of Sassy. I wish I didn't know there was pizza rolls in the fridge. I wish I were back in prison. I miss my wife, Jake. That's cute. I could wear that. You were talking to me, weren't you? You said, come over here, I'm lonely. Drink me, please. <laughs> well, little friend. <laughs> yep, here's the transparencies. These are not comfortable jammies. Well, back to my novel. Door handles mean nothing to me. Goofus pisses me off. Ah, Listerment. <laughs> well, I better go fall for this. Locks may mean nothing to you, mister, but a lock saved my life once. <laughs> Faust, you rubbing a glass against the wall? You in there, Faust. I was trying to read Anna Quinlan. Mr. Wilson and Dennis the Menace, the final conflict. <laughs> and I get to keep the glass. I need to turn this into a bolero jacket. <laughs> but drooling on the perfect earth. <laughs> Breaking all the guinea pigs out of this place. I just gotta find that snap on tool calendar. Place is probably crawling with whiskery old guards. He's gonna hide Easter baskets now. Bud, Princess, Fever, Wally, Robbie, Chip, Ernie. Hey, this is not my beautiful house. Dr. Ulo. You know what? I'm going to rearrange. That screen is so the guinea pig can undress. This lock has meaning to me. Gotta be a glass I can rub against this door. I'm feeling good right now. Scooby dooby dooby doo. I just had this craving for some sociables. Now I can sew that button on. <laughs> Time to slip into something more comfortable. Surprise! Happy birthday to you. What are you doing? What is it you want up here? Take it easy, Doc. I just came up to see you. So maybe they had you locked up in there. Not I. Only what's left of my soul. I'm kidding. Anyway. Maybe get some answers. <laughs> you seem about the only one around here who isn't a member of Krenner's fan club. I have nothing to say. I'm a servant. Major Krenner does my thinking for me. Mm. His robe is by lands of Austria. Wow. What's he got on you, Doc? He knows I'm German. <laughs> Why do you ask me these things? So I can get some answers. How'd you get mixed up in this? My daughter. He's holding her. <laughs> and that cheese box? Well, open it up. Let her out. Please, Mr. Faust, I do not joke. Not about my daughter. Although I hear she swims after troop chips. <laughs> but that's a joke. That hurt. If it makes you feel good to hurt me, then so be it. All right, Doc. Start the beginning. How'd you get over here? We carpooled from the Ottoman Empire. At the end of the Second World War, I fled my own country with my baby daughter. My wife had died of experiments. I had been forced to perform on her in a concentration camp. Her own wife. All my 
my patients wore hoods. I couldn't see their faces. I didn't know my wife was one of them until it was too late. Bet this place is loud in a rainstorm. Mm. That still doesn't explain how you got here. I took a damn boat! I came to this country as a refugee. No one knew I was a scientist. Except spies like Krenner. Spies like us. After my wife died, I wanted no more of science. Spies like us. To come no. here. <laughs> it's not funny. Here's your daughter. Spies like us. If I no, do not do as I'm told, she will be killed. Spies like us. If I carry out the orders, she will be killed. <laughs> Not now, Trevor. Down. Hey, that's my bone. Careful, Trevor. Was it after that point that he told you he'd take the next flight? Yes. And, was, and you, and you then Just say no, Jay, from Comedy Central. Why do I think the Whopper just beat the Big Mac? Two to one in the taste test. We'll think about it. The Whopper is one big, juicy, flame broiled burger complemented by the perfect size bun. The Big Mac, on the other hand, is stacked bread with two smaller fried burgers in between. <laughs> bun, burger, bun, burger, bun. Say that three times fast. Better yet, don't. You might sprain your tongue. And then how would you eat your Whopper? The burger that beat the Big Mac. The Whopper Value Meal for $2.99 at Burger King. My advice to you is get a preload. It could only come from here. Canada, the home of ice. Molson Ice. Ice brewed by North America's oldest brewery to be colder and bolder. Yet smooth as ice. and ice from the land where ice was born here's a chip that's got more ridginess new pringles ridges it's more crunch if crunch is what you can't resist a pringles ridge is more crunch than this crunch golden tasty crunchiness not this bad chips greasy mess a new pringles ridges it's more crunch you can't stop. Every night, share a heavy moment with Bill. They always say life is precious. My question is, why? Is life precious? And if so, how do you explain Bob Barker? <laughs> Watch Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher. Weeknights at 10, only at Comedy Central. And the award for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actor goes to... Colin Ferguson! All the fairy tales are violent. Some of them have good endings, but they're basically violent and terrifying. So we decided that we were going to write our own original, original fairy tale, and that's what we did. But we never were able to sell it because we were dramatizing Violence. <laughs> hey, let's go spy on the guinea pigs you while they take the showers. That you could open it. But now, Doc, I got problems. Please, Mr. Faust, release my daughter and take her to some safe place. Knock it off, Doc. I got my own trouble. Mm. Then you can't open it. I could open that thing blindfolded. I'll open it, but locks mean nothing to me. Quite a little psychologist, aren't you, Doc? That's good reasoning. Dear God, it's Kitty Carlisle, and she's packing heat. Well, congratulations on your wedding, Miss Havisham. <laughs> Certainly a daring nightgown. Rated to 30 there. below. And please try not to be amusing. Hey, don't worry, no problem on this end. Good night, Dr. Ulof. 
Say good night to my hamsters. <laughs> oh, I love this door. Is this a panel craft? <laughs> I love a well-armed woman. Sit down at that organ and play Stardust. Arnold Schwarzenegger, pregnant! <laughs> he grabs his neck more than Chuck Heston. What's next, Matahari? You gonna shoot me? Credit probably will when he gets back. He doesn't appreciate this loyalty. He hates Jack Morris. Julian's a loyal type. I'm bitter. All it got him was a lump in the head. Back Hammond? He's still out. I couldn't bring him around. <laughs> See, he's pregnant. I can't believe What's it. <laughs> For a dame that's supposed to be so greedy, you don't know a thing about playing a whole card. Oh? Ever think how much that ray would be worth to a guy who wanted to rob a bank? With a team of hamsters? With that thing, I could get into every vault in the country in broad daylight. Dream on, Buster. I hate that Sounds show. Pretty. Of course, to take on jobs like that, if I would have to have a little help. Now, uh, splitting the take of a few of those would... Uh, Pay you a lot more than Krenner will ever give you in a lifetime. He gives me a million dollars a day. He needs background music for this commercial. Full orchestra and violins. Maybe Bobby uh, McFerrin. Don't believe me. Don't be a gambler. Should I gamble on having my throat slit by Krenner or being shot by you? Go for the curtain. Oh, honey, that's a chance you'd have to take. Just like the risk I run every time I get onto that raid. Well, if you don't take a chance, you never know. That's in the road less traveled. I'll keep it in mind. It's under control, Hank. Thanks, Julian. He was trying to make a deal. You must have heard what he said. He was talking a double cross. Yeah, I heard him. Sounded like you were listening awful close, too. She's got Ernest Borgnine keep arms. Keep quiet about this, Julian. Keep quiet and I'll help you. With your mask. You know that Krenner's going to blame you for letting him out of his room. We've got to help each other now. Lucy, I'm home. Oh, Answer oh, Protection yeah. League, let us in. Come in. I'm coming. Open the door. Give someone else a crack of this house. What happened? Where were you? We had a date. Get in the broom. Want to sweep up that bottle I dropped? I told you not to take your eyes off a fast door. Oh, him, he's out cold. I went in and picked up the bottle. Figured you didn't want him nipping in the morning when he wakes up. You want some griddle cakes? You did right. He's got to be sober. Good night. Good night. Night hair gerbils. <laughs> I broke one of the gophers earlier. Sorry. The organ plays a pivotal part in this movie, doesn't it? Why'd you gob on me? What'd you do that for? Save your own skin. My skin is beyond saving. The idea of yours does interest me. I figure you need me more than I need you. No, baby, I'm a need you. Good morning. Ah, breakfast with Dorothy Parker. <laughs> Gotta get out and cut hay, but first a gimlet. There seems to be a, kind of a dark side to this house. I can't stand the tension. Somebody play that organ. This is olive I was saving. I thought you were up in the lab. <laughs> I was. What was that for? Don't try it. Don't even think about it. Julian told me about your talk with Faust. Don't even think about asking me if I was up in the lab. I didn't make any deal? No, not yet, but I know you. My memory is too good. I remember our other deals. You don't think I gave you enough of a share, do you? What are you talking about? What could I possibly have in common with Faust? He's a hood. Just the type you go for. Laura, I don't care what you do with your life, but when it interferes with my plans, I draw the line. I want you to go to college. You were about to ask me if I was up in the lab again, weren't you? Follow me, I lay off the vodka. I want you ready when I need you. As long as he needs me. Well, how about some coffee? If you will relax, Mr. Faust, there will be no pain. You may lose consciousness for a few moments after you become invisible, but there should be no avail effect. How do you know it'll work on a human? Do you know what'll happen? We made hundreds of such experiments. There can be no slip-up. Uh, unless something goes wrong. <laughs> Come 
on, Doctor. We don't have all night. David McCallum is booked for midnight. We were just in the lab, weren't we? Uh, is that the toner up there for the when they make people visible again? Guys, well, well, nothing to worry about. I'm in kind of a rush today, so I pushed fewer buttons. Ah, gentle pressure. He's a thick man. I don't like peering up his nostrils, though. Isn't someone going to swab me with antiseptic? Please. Well, it's just going to make a little hamster sized invisible hole in the middle of him. Look at that one, Henry. It's the biggest guinea pig I ever saw. Yeah, except the pain, man. I've sucked up a lot more radiation than you ever will, chunky boy. <laughs> The visible six banger. You build it. <laughs> My pancreas. He disappeared with an audible ping. He's going to notions. <laughs> Even the trouble they got into wasn't as vicious as it is today. It was innocent, minor, just nonsense type of things. Today, it's a little more hardcore, I would say, and uh, unfortunately. We brought you here for a little chat about your teeth and some good news. An instrument made to get between teeth that you can comfortably use at home. Crest Complete. First, Crest created a brush to fit your teeth, designed to penetrate and clean far between them. Today's Crest Complete goes even farther than before. The better you care for your teeth, the more you and your dentist can enjoy these little visits. Crest Complete, the dentist's choice for rippled brushes. Something's going around, and it's spreading. It's the fever for the new Subaru Legacy Wagon with all-wheel drive, transferring power from the wheels that slip to the wheels that grip, outselling wagons from Toyota, Honda, and Volvo. And once you've caught the fever, there's only one cure, a Subaru wagon of your own. During Subaru Active Safety Days, lease an all-wheel drive legacy for as low as $1.99 a month. Question, when your best friend is an 800-pound gorilla, who's falling around? Where do you go to set her free? Answer, anywhere she wants. Get off me! I'm not even gonna ask. Born to be Wild, rated PG. Starts Friday, March 31st at a theater near you. Sinbad puts it on catfish. And rice, scrambled eggs. Dan Aykroyd, everything humans can consume. So what do you put it on? Yow! Tabasco. Condoms, man! It's repression, man! Just another tool of the establishment just to bring us down! They say we gotta use them, but who are they? Well, they wanna control us with their condoms, but not me, man, cause I ain't wearing one and letting cheap. Use one or get none. Well, these are cool. I mean, I'd use them. I'd use them. I'd like them, and I'd use them all the time. Sheik, get some. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sheik. We could make our new jet ski watercraft perform like everybody else's, but first, we'd have to slow it down. The new 900 CXI. Watercraft World's Watercraft of the Year. It's the day of days and the night of nights and the birthday tunes will go into the awards and the nominees in the house and the Al Pacino's of Al Pacino's and the big owl. The MST3K Little Gold Statue Preview Special premieres Wednesday night at 8. Mm, wow, it leaves quite an odor. What's happened to you, all right? Doc, that's not his wrist. Well, it's quite frantic, but that is to be expected. Well, why is he breathing like that? He may be shocked. Faust, can you hear me? Can you speak? Faust, try to sit up. I'm talking the wrong end. You stop breathing. Well, do something. Well, don't do that. <laughs> He's gone. What? Hmm? <gasps> he 
gave me a wet willy. He's here. Wow, Samson. You're out. I found him. Well, listen to me. You remain invisible till I want to return at all. So you're... There's a guinea pig on my neck. It's some form of pure energy, Captain. If I choke you hard enough, you'll bring me back. Boy, the worst a guinea pig ever did was piddle on him. Just showing you how badly you need me. And my loyalty costs money. Oh, sorry, Ollie. Oh, I thought you'd be well paid. You neglected one thing, chum. How much? A thousand dollars. A thousand every time you do a job. Craner, if I'm going to be it, I want money. Lots of money. Mm. Well, what do you expect? I can't pay that. Oh, yes, you can, Major. I'm sure you can. Oh, you're going to pay me, Norton. We'll talking over in private. Downstairs? Good idea. The hamsters mm -hmm. are trying to sleep up here. Over here, Major. I'm waiting. As it's implied, then I'm over here. After you, Major. I'm so invisible right now. I've never been less not invisible. you all to hell. <laughs> yeah, anyway. So you don't think a thousand is enough? Hmm? <laughs> oh, hang on, I'm snagged on a bandit. You're a real case, Major. You think everyone's supposed to jump when you open your big fat mouth, but you've forgotten one thing. Your purse. Forgotten what? You gotta have me. You huh? gotta have home. Now, whatever you're up to, I'm worth plenty to you. You wouldn't have gone to all that trouble of breaking me out. You're a dead duck without me. Am I on speakerphone? What do you have in mind? Well, walking into that nuclear box worth uh, about 25 grand. Oh, wow, I bet. Just get a little air in here. 25 grand. You're, you're mad. I don't have that kind of money. Well, then you do the job, Major. I'm scratching my butt right now, you know. That's the figure. <laughs> 25 grand in small bills, C-O-D, take it or leave it. Oh, uh, your fly's open. <laughs> All right, you'll go tonight. Floral will drive you. But you made transparent men by the millions, Pittsburgh. Oppenheimer cupped Einstein's breasts as Nil Four let his smock slip to the lab floor. Oh, this is hot. A uh, genie! I don't get science. Huh? Is that brute? Well, I suppose they do those things. Oh. Hey, when you're transparent, mess with the fuse box. It's funny. You can't put a hot tub in here. You need at least 100 amps. Not really worth standing up for, but I'm up. Wheel of Fortune. Why does he have a napkin dispenser? I don't... Great, here comes Chaz the Spaz. No, I will not trade lunches with you, Chaz. My cigarette lacks flavor. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I, I just thought I heard something. Aye, matey, hard to port! Back in ten minutes, I gotta check the other post. Yeah, right. Light a match, will you? But the, geez, they should lock that thing. <laughs> He's moshing by himself. <laughs> this happens every day whether there's an invisible man or not. <laughs> no, he's stealing their walleye minnows. Or maybe he should have brought a transparent tote bag. <laughs> Be sure to sign out. Is he going to plant bulbs? Here, they're just flexing their special effects muscles. Jerry Cooney, security guard. Put a hundred down and buy a car. You didn't see anyone during all this? Well, no, sir. I, I heard a clicker noise like the wheel on the vault was turning, and I, <laughs> I told him about it, but neither one of us saw anything. That's right. There was nothing when I started to check the other guard post. I don't live with my mother. Then what? Well, I, I turned around, and, uh, and the vault door was open and all, all by itself. And, um, and I got up to check it, and I, and I pulled my gun, and something was all over me. And then the next thing I know, I'm, I'm waking up. Mm -hmm. What about the alarm panel? When did it get wrecked? 
I don't know, Mr. Gregg. It was okay when I came on duty. It uh, couldn't have happened while I was checking posts, or he'd have noticed anyone tampering with it. It's set up with each of us covering the other. Yes, but it's quite obvious neither one of you were covering the other. In fact, there was no coverage at all. Can we finish being fired? There's a little stormtrooper who lives in my pants. He whispers things to me. Hi, Doctor. What was it you wanted to tell me about the guinea pig? It was only a matter of time. I've grown to love him. He died despite of resistance it was developing against radiation. He lived a good life. It was It's too early to tell. But each time it will take longer to reduce him to invisibility, less to return him to normal states. He will also develop a resistance. What about the new material, the X-13? I need more time to study it. Its properties are different from other nuclear materials. I do not like keeping it here. Its vomit ratio is also much lower. Its vomit ratio? Vomit. I think he said that. The strawberries, yes. You're uh, afraid of an explosion? Yes. Oh, I'm afraid of strudel, though I don't know why. <laughs> we'll use the X-13 on Fox. It could mean his death. Doctor, I'm not concerned with the welfare of one man. I must know the full potential of your invention, because my aim is to make an entire army invisible. You understand? An entire army. I did not agree to kill a man by deliberate radiation poisoning. No. <laughs> You're too old-fashioned to be a genius. <laughs> Hey, Mike, what do we have here? Yeah, yeah, it looks really cool. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh, come on, it's my Magic Core 2000, the Lowry electronic organ. Pretty neat, huh? I'll say. what it do? Oh, well, give a listen, yeah. Huh? <laughs> 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 well, this is neat. This will be fun forever. <laughs> yeah, we'll never get sick of this. Oh, huh. <laughs> uh, uh, huh. Uh, say, Tom, I've got uh, three rubber bands in my room. Huh? I'm there, man. Huh? Huh? Oh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> ah, Cambon, lights, please. Ah, perfect. <laughs> uh, perhaps the most volatile and feisty of Henry VIII's six wives was Anne Boleyn. What are you? Hi. Uh, <laughs> just just uh, oh. putting on, uh, doing some uh, lights, please, mm -hmm. Canva. Ah. Let's just oh, let me get Latin rhythm. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah. I was just uh, uh -huh. sure. the thing. I sure. know nothing we haven't done. <laughs> the Whopper just beat the Big Mac. Two to one in the taste test. We'll think about it. The Whopper is one big juicy flame broiled burger complemented by the perfect size bun. The Big Mac, on the other hand, is stacked bread with two smaller fried burgers in between. <laughs> bun, burger, bun, burger, bun. Say that three times fast. Better yet, don't. You might sprain your tongue. And then how would you eat your Whopper? The burger that beat the Big Mac. The Whopper value meal for $2.99 at Burger King. Truckin' Magazine's Truck of the Year. A Consumer's Digest Best Buy. Popular Mechanics Design and Engineering Award. Kiplinger's Best New Utility Vehicle. And the 1995 North American Truck of the Year. Yep, the new Chevy Blazer really cleaned up at the awards this year. O.J. Simpson has a book coming out. I think the dedication is in questionable taste. It says, uh, to my ex-wife, without whom none of this would have been possible. So... Watch the sensitive insights of Bill Maher on Politically Incorrect. Weeknights at 10, here at Comedy Central. Not now.
feather down. Hey, that's my ball. Careful, Trevor. Was it after that point that he told you he'd take the next flight? Yes. And you, and you Just say no, Jay, from Comedy Central. Meet Exit 57. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Exit 57, America's sketch comedy rest stop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that race. Yeah. I was sweet. Something every cheap safe cracker in the country's been dreaming of. Too bad the doctor invented years ago for the right people. He wouldn't be cooped up here now. Give me five, homie. You better lay off the giggle water. He can't <laughs> use you drunk, you know. <laughs> it's a case of my using him. Now come on with a drink. What, am I invisible here? Oh, I could have walked into that vault in broad daylight and done the same thing. It's so easy, I felt like I was taking printed money away from him. Hi, Pop. Think about fast. This time you do it the hard way. In daylight. On stilts. Well, through with me so soon, huh? Gonna get me killed off. Oh, no, not at all. But I've learned that security has been tripled on the vaults during the night shift. Six men. But it hasn't been strengthened during the day. Just where do you get these gems? He has sources. You better believe him. One more haul, and we'll have enough for our present supply and work. Uh-uh. Not the Glen Fittich. You won't need this, and we're ready in the lab. Thanks a lot, Bill W. Did I do something wrong to make him not slap me? My girdle is killing me. Mm. Mm. Mr. Keisterman's mailbox. You see, Doctor, my mom loved my sister a lot more than me. And Tonight on 21, Charles Van Doren versus Leopold Stakowski. Go ahead on Invisible Booth 5. I've been riding my tuchus for too long. Hmm. Oliver Reed's looking better than usual. I cannot. That bratwurst is repeating on me. Well, I guess I could have done that. It didn't seem too hard. I'm afraid a guinea pig got me. I'll make anyone invisible for forty-nine ninety-five. Well, either he's invisible or the rice is done. Forestry, changing the face of northern Michigan. Jackie Kennedy, after the tragedy, she just took off in the convertible. Ooh. Took a little cruise. Bye. You can't get away with this in broad daylight, Joey. Why don't you stop running Krenner's errand? I'm naked, you Let's know. Let's not get any more involved. Don't get emotional, baby. <laughs> You're nice as a playmate. Let's keep it that way. Let's understand that. Mm -hmm. Well, they may not see you, but they're bound to see the lead container when you try to get it out. You got it all wrong, honey. Today's the day we take the bank. Mm -hmm. It's broad daylight. You're crazy. You're talking to a professional, remember? I don't have to worry about time locks or anything like that. Just walk in, pack up the loose cash, and walk out, and you, sweetheart, are going to be waiting for me. Boy, that guy just lights up the screen. Mm. Oh, don't even say it. Your cut will be 40%. Chief, there's an invisible man to see you. I'll have to climb out. See, I climbed out. <laughs> I'll have to walk into the bank. And now the lighter side of banking. <laughs> Oh, that door is on the grid. I'll fix that. Oh, goodness. The stakes and chaps are calling me. Anyone would notice if I got a nice big porterhouse and brought it back in here. Hmm. Rod Serling. A deposit submitted for your approval. Guess that line's for women only. Eliza Doolittle. <laughs> hmm. The Beginner's Guide to Bank Security. 
show he's going to steal everybody's real estate abstract. No, that's a tiny ping pong table. Hey, Kevin Kastner is Jim Garrison. Great. <laughs> She's very Olivia de Havilland. Oh, this happened in Point Break when you could see everyone. Unfortunately. <laughs> oh, great. I'm just transparent-ish. Oh, my Lord. It's Donald Nixon. Don't let anybody move. You won't get hurt. He'd be less conspicuous without the gun and the money. <laughs> What's the matter? What's Drive. Drive. What's the matter? I ought to go. And I just know I'm going to show up in the news of the weird now. No blinker. They're just exacerbating their crime. Thank you very much for your cooperation, Miss. Mm -hmm. I always hope it does some good. I'm sure it will. He was invisible, but I'm positive he was black. Security. Good day now. He's hey, been yeah. downgraded to a partially oh. visible man. Okay. Guess we can't stop it now. Someone ordered pizza for us. Story's out. The reporter was at the police station when the alarm came in. Well, there's no doubt it was Faust. Everyone at the banks identified him. Well, what can we do? The man makes himself invisible. Locks mean nothing to him. <laughs> Smarter than us. He did us. take the X-13. What defense do we have against him? Nothing. None. Maybe cops on bicycles is the answer. We return now to Paris, Texas. Hold it here. I love the smell of atrazine in the morning. Oh, looks like he made the trip to Bountiful. Oh. I'm going to build a casino right here. There must be something we can do. Yeah, if I can just get down to Eula. I can't get back to the house till I'm invisible again. Police report the so-called invisible man who robbed the Coatesville National Bank has been identified as Joey Faust, escaped convict and safe cracker. Witnesses said the robber became visible before their eyes. Mm -hmm. Citizens are warned... I wanted to listen to the twins. Oh, he's got to come back. And that tramp, too. I'll teach them to double-cross me. Take my bags outside and then watch for them. Right. My own personal McLeod. This gives me a chance to call Peggy quick. I know some people in Mexico. We can go there and start all over again. Mexico, huh? Do you know Jose? I know what I've been, Joey, but I can change all that. I can be taller, more full-figured. What are you doing? Giving you your split. You're on your own, baby. But, but you said we'd be together. Honey, right now I need a car more than I need you. So you can start walking anytime. But you just can't go off and leave me. I'll be right back after this. <laughs> Joey! We overdid the clearasil again. Goodbye, Laura. Tell you I love you. Oh, is this goodbye? Hmm, it's a fine honey. Oh, well, at least you left me this pound of ground beef. And some patties, I suppose. I've got to get the soybeans in. Hmm. Nuclear material. No kill our. Please catch Faust and hear his story. They'll be all over us. Oh, my Zeitgeist is gestalting, and now I have middle schmerz. Hmm? I will not. What? Uh, okay, I will. I have been running away most of my life. Now get out of my dingy furnished laboratory. Doctor, oh. there's something wrong with your formula, but we'll work it out in a new location. An invisible army is worth billions. An army of dead men, Major. Oh, thanks, Otto von Bring Me Down. <laughs> I'm taking Marie with me. I'm sure you'll come along. No! She didn't finish her supper. She should stay in her room. Marie, my dear. Prison is fun. Oh, hmm? oh, out of here! <laughs> it's Super Donald Nixon. Doc, what's wrong? Why do I keep appearing and disappearing? Oh. I don't know. I needed more time to study the X-13 before trying it out on you. Oh, fine. Well, you're going to do something about it. <laughs> I've got to be normal. Wait. You're going to take care of it. I will, but not in this place. But well, why not? I got him locked up. 
I want to be taken away from here, my daughter and I. Only then I will treat you. But... You with the... And then the... Uh, All right, let's blow out of here. Let's put our lips together and blow. <laughs> so why is she dressed for mass? Man, Houdini couldn't get her out of that dress. Forget something. Uh, the girdles. <laughs> this program is brought to you by Malta Meal Cereals. <laughs> You know, more people are walking this way, so they're in a better position to find Malto Meal cereals. They're usually down here. You should try it. Malto Meal tastes every bit as good as these. See? Bet you can't tell the difference. And they cost about a dollar less. Malto Meal. See if you can taste the difference. You really ought to come down here. The all-new Subaru Impreza. We didn't just load it with safety features like dual airbags and anti-lock brakes. We loaded it with fun. A spirited new 135 horsepower engine harnessed to the ultimate safety feature. Subaru all-wheel drive. Transferring power automatically from the wheels that slip to the wheels that grip. To help your Subaru stick to the road and you stick to having a good time. Subaru. Radio do this. Only one radio gives you stereo sound this big, yet it's small enough to fit almost anywhere. The incredible new wave radio from Bose. Press the remote control and hear sound like you've never heard from a radio before. Big, rich sound that really fills the room. You hear music the way it was meant to be heard. Clear, full, incredibly lifelike. You've got to hear the wave radio to believe it. But it's only available from Bose, the most respected name in audio. Call our toll-free number. We'll send you a free information kit about the wave radio. You'll learn how we make such big stereo sound come from a radio this small. Call for more information about the Bose wave radio. It'll make a difference in the way you listen to music. A big difference. Exit 57. Oh. Ah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Exit 57. America's sketch comedy rest stop. Put that thing down. I take my orders from the major. I have to. The major. Let me. Julian, you believe what he told you about your son being alive in prison? And yes, I do. You're a fool. This son's dead, Julian. Krenn has been using you all along. But he is in Europe, right? I don't even have a son. I'm so stupid. Guarded this organ for five years. Suddenly, I'm backstory. He's right. We had to come back. Come on. I hate to see a grown codger cry. I told you to hit the road. It was for your own good. But, Joey, please, please give me a chance. We thought you had your chance in. Joey! This guy loves locks. Let's admit it. All right, come on. Come on, Joey. We are all going to Grandma's, and we are all going to have a good time. <laughs> Julian, sir. You know what the Kremlin is after? A process. So an invisible army can invade your country. You get I don't off care about me. Or his army. I care about me. The whole bit is futile. Brenda has found me before he'll find me again. I've got money. I know places across the border he never heard of. Now, how long are these treatments going to take? You may someday be declared a martyr, Mr. Faust. A man who sacrificed himself so that the invisible army might rush over in your country. Oh, what are you trying to pull? You want it out of here. I made a deal with you. Now you cross hey. me and I'll kill you. I'm a dying man, Mr. Faust. Radiation poisoning. No boo-hoo. You're dying, too. You're worse off than I. You're lying. You have only weeks, perhaps days, to live. Damn you, Uncle you Charlie! You to get away from Krenner. To free Maria. Yeah, I had no that's choice. One big cow flop. Wow. 
Come on. <laughs> Are you so intent upon evading the police for a few remaining days? Don't you care what Kane is doing to your country? Why should I care? What did my country ever do for me but try and bury me in a concrete tomb for the rest of my life? Oh, your breath is not invisible. You, my child. You should think of yours. Perhaps you deserve prison. Mm. But didn't Miss Maria deserve what has happened to her? Did her mother need to die? Is this the kind of world you want for your child? That is what an invisible army will bring. <laughs> <I've seen it. laughs> How much longer, I got? A month. No more. So, no sense starting a Michener novel. Here, I sneezed into that. Big League Chew. Mm. Don't wait for me. I'm going to go do me a little possum hunting, and then I'll meet up. This amazing transparent man stands to win. Where have you been? There is a man who has unlocked every door, except the one to his own soul. Bob Dornan. Now he has the key. Come, my dear. We must find a telephone and notify the police. Daddy, could I have a line at some point? Egyptian? It's open. There. Joey! Joey! This marathon bar is chewy. Joey! Joey! Joey, will you please Wait listen to me? Wait for me outside. Wait. Oh, now see, I told you to wait for me outside. I'll prop your head up so you can watch Sullivan. Uh, it's okay, you guard the downstairs now. Well, the irony of the organ being there is unbelievable. Mm. You shot the only woman who ever vaguely loved me. This is going to be so great. <laughs> You're it, no tag backs. Oh no, it was a bottle of Joel's Cola. Ooh. With each blow, he looks more like James Garner. Okay, now would be a good time for me to turn transparent. Scrape your scapula down till there's nothing left. You crushed my cookies. I'm sorry, our hygienist called in sick again. Let's take some minutes, so if you just lay there, uh, I'll be killing you shortly. Just hang on. You want a pop or anything? I'm in the fridge. <laughs> Thought I was done, but just a few more minutes. <laughs> I just got to get my structure. Do you remember how this thing works? You brute, you brute, you brute, you brute, you brute. <laughs> Leave my fissionable material alone. God, a transparent logie. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of heavy water. Ooh. In an unrelated event. <laughs> All my exes died in Texas. Maybe they blew up ZZ Top. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Whoop. Zip. It were pretty how my wife turned all purple. <laughs> Sorry, folks, it's all nuclear behind here. Are you happy, Mr. Teller? Drake and Smith, security. Excuse me, why aren't you folks drinking? This is Texas. Sorry, I got my orders. No one enters this area. Too much fallout for safety. All right, officer, just a minute. I think a couple of jumbo Slim Jims will change your mind. Mm -hmm. They're individually wrapped. And the bookmobile is there. My hmm? binoculars switch to another viewpoint. What the? What? They Ooh. keep switching. Here, these will blow your mind. It's a Frank Geary building. Hmm. Fine, if I can't get near the fallout, I'll just smoke. Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. Wait a minute, Smitty. Gentle pressure, see? Did you notice the gentle pressure? Thank you. 
I feel better. Well, Doctor, you and your friends have succeeded in blowing up half the county. Uh, oops. <laughs> there isn't enough left out there to make ashes. I'm deeply sorry, of course. Can I go now? But as I told you before, I didn't do anything by choice. Yeah. I warned Major Krenner of the danger involved. But you must realize his was a deranged mind. Mm -hmm. All he could think of was the creating of an invisible army. Yeah, and the yeah. power that the force would give him. Jeez, I had to ask. You know, Doctor, this idea of an invisible army is quite interesting. But I have to go. Imagine what our counterintelligence could accomplish if they were able to become invisible whenever necessary. <laughs> the Sector Intelligence Agency has already discussed the possibilities with So me. don't try to lure it over me. But my friend, think of the danger if the secret were stolen from us. It has happened before, you know. You're a big sack of crowd gas. Uh, what was Perhaps I you were saying? it would be better if we... Let the secret die with Major Krenner and Joy Faust. It's a serious problem. It is. Yeah. What would you do? What? What, what, what was the question? Is that for us? What did we do? What? I don't know. I, mean, I, I, I didn't know there would be a test. Yeah, something. something to think about, though. What do you What an interesting dilemma. Crow, what would you do? What would you do? Oh, that's easy. If I were past midfield, I'd go for it. Maybe just punt. Oh, that's not what they mean. Oh, what you incorrigible <laughs> little robot. Yeah. No, the question is, if you had a choice between having your own invisible army, mm -hmm. or blowing up a county in Texas, mm -hmm. which would it be? Oh. Mike, come on, that's easy. Under any circumstances, blowing up a county in Texas is justifiable. <laughs> What? What? Tom, what? my family's from Texas. Oh, God. Oh, Mike. No, no. I have no idea. I was just trying. No. Oh, God. Mike, I'm, I'm so kidding. sorry. I'm kidding. They're from Wisconsin. <laughs> I don't care what you do to Texas. <laughs> I'm joking. But anyway, we've, we've got a letter to read. Uh -huh. uh, it's actually a transparent letter. Oh, it's it is. transparent. We'll Put that, that up on still store there, Campbell. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Kathleen Donovan, and she writes, Here's a little invention for you. Uh -huh. You fill, and there's a nice little picture there you can Let's see. see. Uh, yeah. Fill Tom Servo's head with a creamy custardy yogurt, uh -huh. and you get voila, soft servo. <laughs> what do you know? That's from <laughs> Kathleen <funny>. Donovan. <laughs> what, what happened to the letter? <laughs> it's gone. It's oh. transparent. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kathleen. Mike, I have an invisible army, you know. They're nope. right behind me. No, 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 you don't. My invisible army's right behind me, and they just whomped on your invisible army. Did not. Did too. Did not. Did too. Did Throw not. Did robot did and not. Did not. What a couple of wacky mixed up bots. I'll see you later. <laughs> hey, look at you. You are a skinny young man. Here, have another one of my raw card flavorless butter cookies. No, it's a wonderful dilemma. Do I put an ice auger through his chest, or do I enjoy another delicious piece of his wonderful apple pan dowdy? <laughs> Either way, I win. <laughs> well, Auntie McFrank, it looks like you're over your disappointment. <laughs>
see it. I touch it. Doesn't know how. This has been a presentation from Comedy Central. Our decision to use sophisticated technology actually led to something simple. The reliable new accent. Its engine, self-adjusting, virtually maintenance-free, dependable. Its ignition has fewer moving parts, so there's less to go wrong. Its side panels are stamped from a single sheet of steel for a tighter fit and a quieter ride. All of which should make your decision to buy one simple, too. The all-new accent from Hyundai. Some of the best ideas on the road. This is Jurgen's body shampoo, and this is the sponge. Just a little squeeze, and you've got enough lather for the entire shower. Just quick and easy. Just a little squeeze really cleans your body. It rinses off so easily. My skin feels so smooth. It tingles. It feels great. Just a little squeeze, and a little squeeze here. It feels fantastic. Just, just a squeeze! I am through with bar soap forever. Hey, just squeeze it, baby. Jurgen's body shampoo. You've got to try this. Introducing the only candy made with the refreshing, tart, and sweet taste of Ocean Spray. All natural fruit waves when you're thirsty for a great candy. Introducing the only candy made with the refreshing, tart, and sweet taste of Ocean Spray. All natural fruit waves when you're thirsty for a great candy. Soft and puffy clouds so high. Is that a little lamb I spy? A rainbow river, green and red. Ugh. That one looks like Seaford's head. Bigger, crunchier Doritos. So deliciously distracting. Don't flavor the way you look at life. What's this? I come to make a sack. You drop the ball. I give it back. Thank you. I don't think so. <laughs> Doritos flavor the way you look at life. Well, uh, I like documentaries. I watch them. Uh, I watch Wheel of Fortune once in a while, or Jeopardy, and things like that. Uh, 